Hey there, welcome to day 1267. I knew that this filter would blow up my head because they all do. But since our idiom, our expression for supersize your business was big picture today, I was okay with it. So now I have a great big head on this crazy filter. So big picture, what does it mean? Where does it come from? How to use it in your business and your life? Big picture means to, of course, take the bird's eye view, the 30,000, I like to say the 30,000 foot view, as if I'm flying in an airplane and looking down at the world below me. That's how I like to look at my business and that's how I tend to look at my business and different areas and aspects of my life. Every year I set a giant annual goal that of course feeds into my legacy long-term life goals and then I break that down throughout the course of the year into smaller and smaller and smaller pieces. But the big picture allocation of those goals and objectives might to contribute to my legacy goals, I do that usually once a year. I set aside time to do that. I think about and I learn from other people. I um, choose specific goals and specific areas and aspects of my life. I do physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial relationships. And then this year I add a contribution. And then this year I added communication and confidence to my nine key areas and aspects of my life. Normally I do seven, but in 2021 I added two more because there were two areas I was getting coaching in and I wanted to actually focus on learning and improving my communication because it's very very rough and I know that and it's an area that I want to get better at I have a lot of things in my head that I want to say to people but I need to find better easier more efficient more effective ways of actually implementing that doing that every day and a lot of that is uh, through different very subtle communication shifts and changes same information just the way it's presented slightly differently or in slightly different order so that the message actually gets to the person I'm sending it to it doesn't matter what I want to say it matters what the receiver of the message or the thing that I'm saying understands or gets out of what I'm saying, if that makes sense. So big picture is our supersize your business idiom today. Unknown, it's one of those idioms where they're not sure where it came from. They think maybe motion pictures around the early 1900s when motion pictures came into being, but they're not positive. Uh, the first recorded that you can find on the internet or anything is from a and the, our, the agricultural conquest of the earth or something, some article by somebody named McCuffins or McCunniffs, 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 the agricultural conquest of the earth, talked about the big picture. And of course, if you're in business, you talk about the big picture a lot. Well, what are we trying to accomplish? Our overriding vision, purpose, mission is the big picture. And then how we make that a reality is the is the small details that each and every person in the organization needs to get behind and figure out well how does my my working in accounting contribute to the vision as a whole how does my job and customer service contribute to the vision as a whole how is a salesperson for the organization it does do i fit into the overall achievement of the goals and objectives and mission and principles and purpose of the organization uh, our annual challenge today to do one thing every day that centers us was about either we find a way or we create we either make a way we either find a way or make a way to to get what we want to create what we want in life and today we are sharing a way that we found to create something that we want or to solve a problem etc somehow that we found to move our life in the direction we wanted to move so I like that one too Get Up and Go Challenge, the next 30 day free Get Up and Go Challenge will be August 1st through 31st. Uh, excited about this one. I've actually committed to setting a timer and keeping the lessons to 10 minutes or less. Sometimes in the past, I might have gone over 10 minutes. Not a lot, but sometimes it would be 20 minutes or so. We want to make sure that that's not happening. So that'll be starting August 1st through 31st. Feel free to join us on the Get Up and Go Challenge Facebook page. Or we have a private group that you can join as well that we do more behind the scenes discussions and answer your questions specifically and directly there. So that is what I am working on. Granddaughter is going to be here any minute. I'm hanging out with her today. So I'm excited about that. She was off for three days last week and I missed her. She keeps me moving and going and on the ball in a lot of areas that uh, and keeps my energy up. Otherwise, I tend to wander. I was doing a training last week, which was awesome, but it's... Uh, it's not as fun as hanging out with little human beings that, that get you energized and creative. Sit if I can help you anyway, ask in the questions below. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow just to update you on what I'm doing as I transition from the brick and mortar corporate world of business and owning my own businesses for 47 plus years to the online world. 
how that works. And then this year in 2021 and beyond, I'm doing a little bit of both. I'm keeping my foot in both worlds since I think they're very similar, but there's also differences that are important. And in order to help more people, I want to make sure that I'm actually doing and have myself involved in everything I'm talking about and that people ask questions about. Have an amazing day, and I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.